Hi everyone, welcome to part 5 of our, our dress. It's actually the final part. Uh, we said in our last uh, tutorial that there is a prize for the first three people who will finish this dress. And then you take a photo and post it in any of our uh, social media channels. We have Instagram. We go by the handle at give me life Africa underscore. Then we also have Facebook. We have a page and a group. If you want to join the group, just send a request and answer the questions. The name of the page and group in uh, Facebook is give me life Africa. And then you can also post uh, in the comment section of our YouTube uh, channel. So the first three to send their work are the ones who will be getting uh, the reward. So welcome to part five. This is where we left last time. Uh, as we make this, don't forget to subscribe if you are new in uh, uh, you are new in this. Uh, uh, session so subscribe and ring the bell so that you are notified for our next uh, projects now this is the round we left and we said in our last tutorial we want to uh, increase separate this there are four of them so we want to ensure that they uh, they diverge so that we make a skater. We increase the skirt, uh, the, the, the skirt part. So we will be introducing uh, this pattern, this space, something similar to this in the middle of these uh, clusters here. So let us begin. We begin by chaining five, two, three, four, five, as we have always been doing. And then we double crochet. We make a V-stitch. We chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet here, chain five again, single crochet here, chain five, single crochet, and then you get to the cluster, so you chain five. Uh, we have this cluster, we make a, 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 a V-stitch into uh, this cluster so double crochet chain two and a double crochet then we chain two we said uh, between the v-stitches we always make two to separate them so we get uh, we make another v-stitch chain two and another double crochet so we have this here we are going to do something different I'm going to chain three, two, three, and then I make a single crochet here. I will chain four, three and four, and make a single crochet on this other side. One, two, three, and then I make a V-stitch here. So I make a V-stitch, and then I chain two, and another V stitch here. So this is it. We are trying to uh, introduce another section of this. So we are increasing the chain slowly. Usually we in this in this uh, chains we usually do five, but we're introducing uh, three, four, and three slowly so that in the next we'll also add, add a chain until we have the skirt um, diverging well and then we can continue with this pattern between uh, these uh, clusters. Now we work normally. So I chain five, single crochet here, chain five again, single crochet here, chain five single crochet and then I chain five I make a v-stitch chain two and a double crochet then chain two to separate these two clusters chain two and a double crochet so this is it and you will also notice we are only uh, introducing this bit 
where we introduce the clusters in the middle of these uh, normal clusters that we were working before. The original pattern was this, we introduced this one at the middle, so that is where we are working. So on this one we did as we have been doing. Now in the next, here, that is where again we will introduce uh, the additional uh, chains. So we chain five, single crochet, chain five, single crochet, another chain five, a single crochet, and then we chain five and make a V stitch here. Chain two, double crochet. And we say the V-stitch is uh, a, a double crochet, a chain two and a double crochet in the same stitch. So another V-stitch here. So we have two. And this is our other two clusters. So we will do what we did in the last uh, part. We chain three. Single crochet here. Chain four single crochet here and then chain three and work a v-stitch here a chain two and another v-stitch here so this is what we have we have v-stitches and then we have this pattern and then the two v-stitches and the pattern continues so you chain five you single crochet chain five single crochet and then you chain five and continue here you will work the v-stitches separated by two uh, chains and then when you come to this place you will make the v-stitches here and then the pattern that we introduced you chain three single crochet here chain four single crochet into this chain three and then you make these v stitches separated by two chains and then you continue up to the end of this round so i slip stitch into the space now in this round we are going to chain three and make four double crochets two three and four we have four double crochets i turn my work i single crochet on top of the third uh, chain then turn it chain three and work we said we will call it a flower work it here so chain a uh, single crochet chain three uh, a single crochet here and a single crochet into the chain five so I chain five make another flower here chain three single crochet and single crochet here chain five another flower And then I chain five again and another flower here. Mm, yes, and a single crochet. So we add the V stitch. I will chain three and work uh, five uh, double crochet crochets into the V stitch. Four and five. I then turn my work. I work a single crochet into the first uh, double crochet turn it back chain three single crochet into this chain two chain three again and then work another cluster here two three four and five turn my work single crochet on top of the first double crochet chain three this is where we uh, introduced this pattern so into this chain three i will work a flower 
two, three, single crochet and a single crochet. Then I will chain five. Mm, no, let us work with four because uh, it's a little tight. So I single crochet. I chain three, work a flower and a single crochet. Uh -huh. And then I chain four, two, three, four, and work into this chain three space. So chain three, a flower, and chain and a single crochet. So I chain three and work into the cluster, into the V stitch. I will work a cluster. So double crochet five. Three, four, and five. I turn my work, single crochet on top of the very first, chain three, work into this chain two space, chain three, and a cluster into the V stitch. Three, four, five. Turn my work, I single crochet into the very first double crochet, I chain three, and then I make a flower into this bit. If you have the name of this uh, pattern that I'm calling a flower, please let me know in the comment section. So this is what uh, is happening. It's slowly opening up so we are not working the normal five chains we are working in this other pattern side we are introducing it uh, slowly by slowly so we are working uh, for uh, hope it opens up well so this is it you will continue with this pattern so I chained five you work a flower into this Chain five again, a flower, another chain five, and a flower, and then you ch chain three, and then work into the cluster, into the V stitch, you work the clusters. So this is three, four, and five a single crochet on top of the very first double crochet i chain three single crochet here chain three and another cluster into the v stitch so three four and five so a single crochet here i chain three and single crochet, chain three, single crochet, and a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And our pattern continues. One, two, three, four, five. Let me do it. I show you in the next uh, part how we, I repeat it so that we get what we are doing. Chain five again. Work another flower here. Chain three. And a cluster here. So a double crochet into this. I chain three. Chain three and a cluster here. three four and five turn my work i single crochet on top of the first double crochet and then we are at this pattern so we will chain three and make a flower here one two three 
single crochet and another single crochet and then we chain four make another flower here one two three single crochet and a single crochet we make a chain four again and work into this uh, chain space here another flower Mm -hmm. and a single crochet now we are going to the V stitches we work our usual three chains and make a cluster two three four and five single crochet here chain three work a single crochet here chain three and work another cluster here three four and five double crochets turn my work single crochet on top of the first double crochet then chain three and work a flower here so this continues to the end of this round so this is what you will have you will have this and this so in the next uh, here you will work the normal uh, clusters that we usually do and then when you get here you will work as we have worked in this part so let us meet at the end of the round So in this round, this is what we have done. I begin from here. I've worked up to this part. So I'm going to show you how to uh, add again into this pattern. So I will chain four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet here. I then chain five. And work a single crochet here. Chain five again another single crochet here chain five another single crochet here and then i chain four and work uh, a v-stitch here so double crochet chain two and double crochet and then i chain two work another V stitch into this yes and then I chain five single crochet I chain another five I single crochet here I chain another five single crochet chain five again a cluster oh sorry a V stitch into the cluster I chain two to separate the two v-stitches I work another v-stitch on top of this cluster I then chain five again single crochet into this chain five space I chain five single crochet here chain five again single crochet here and then I chain five and work a V stitch into this uh, cluster. Chain two and a double crochet. Then I chain two to separate the two clusters and make a V stitch. Then it brings me to this part. So I will do as I did in this other side. I will chain four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet here. We are adding another. Uh, we are trying to still open up the skater part. That is why we are working into this space. So I chain five. Single crochet here. Chain five again. I single crochet into this. 
chain five single crochet into this space typically we never work when we're chaining five we never work into this space but because we're opening up the skater part that is where we are working into this piece then chain four and work a v stitch into the cluster chain two work another v stitch here And then I chain five and work normally as I have been working from the beginning of this dress. So work here and the pattern continues. Now this is what you will have. It is opening up and this is the last round we've done of uh, adding the uh, opening up the skater part. So from now henceforth, we will be working the pattern as we have been working in these other sections. So get to the end of the round and come back so that we go to the next round. So we began this round here with a cluster and we've been working the flowers through. We are here now. So after this cluster, we are going to chain three, make a flower here. And then a single crochet and then chain five, make another flower here. Chain five again a flower chain five another flower chain five again a flower into this And then chain three and work a cluster. Two, three, four, five. Turn your work, single crochet on top of the first double crochet. We chain three, work into this chain two space, a single crochet, chain three, and work another cluster here. Two, three, four, and five. You turn your work, single crochet, a chain three, and a flower here. Chain five, make a flower. Chain five again, another flower. Chain five, another flower here. Chain three and work a cluster into the V stitch. Three, four, and five. Turn your work, single crochet on top of the very first. You chain three, single crochet into this chain two space, chain three, and another cluster here. Four, and five. Single crochet on the first double crochet chain three a flower here two three single crochet and a single crochet chain five another flower chain five again another flower 
chain five a flower chain three a cluster our clusters are of uh, five double crochets always except at the beginning of every round we chain three and do four double crochets so chain three single crochet here chain three another cluster here four and five double crochets turn your work single crochet on top of the very first double crochet you chain three and work here so I make a flower here I chain five make a flower here we said the last round was the very first round of us adding any um, chain space to this so from now henceforth we are uh, we are working normally like we have been working in the other sections so we make a flower chain five make a flower here and then chain five again and another flower here three single crochet and a single crochet and then we chain three and work a cluster so this sequence continues to the end of this round so i will turn my work single crochet chain three single crochet here chain three and a cluster here so this is what will be happening let's meet after this round so here we are i began another round this is the round of chain fives so you get to this place you chain five and work a single crochet here chain five again single crochet chain five another single crochet here a chain five a single crochet chain five and a v-stitch into the cluster so we make a v-stitch i chain two to separate the two v-stitches work another v-stitch here on top of the cluster i chain five single crochet chain five single crochet chain five single crochet and then I do a v-stitch into this part so in this round basically we are maintaining the pattern that we we, we had in the last in the, in the last two rows we are not adding anything in between uh, these parts where we we introduced uh, this pattern into so that we open up this skater part so we chain five single crochet here chain five single crochet chain five single crochet chain five and work a v-stitch chain two another v-stitch into this cluster and then we get here you chain five single crochet here 
chain 5 single crochet in the next chain space another chain 5 a single crochet here chain 5 another single crochet here and then chain 5 again you make a double or oh, crochet a chain 2 and a double crochet which we are calling a v-stitch chain 2 and another v-stitch in the next you chain 5 single crochet and the pattern continues all round uh, this round so this is another round we began we are basically doing what we did in this other round but I wanted us to do it again together so that we don't get confused so after the clusters I will chain three and then I work the flower into this chain five space and then I chain five work another flower in the next chain five space chain five another flower chain five another flower I chain five again a flower into this chain five space and then I will chain three and work a cluster into this v-stitch four and five double crochets single crochet into the top of the first double crochet I chain three single crochet into this chain two space chain three again and I do a cluster into this v-stitch four and five single crochet here I chain three a flower here I chain five a flower in the next chain five again and the pattern continues so this is what we will have now for the next uh, many rounds we are now repeating these two uh, rounds to create the skirt part now what I will do I will repeat these two rounds until I have uh, a length of my dress let me lay it down well so that you can see what I'm talking about from top to bottom the length of my dress will be 38 so I will repeat these two rounds these last two rounds that I've done until I get to 38 so this is the length you'll be working repeating uh, these two rounds it depends with how long you want your dress to be I want mine to be uh, to go below the knee you can choose it to be slightly above the knee or whichever whichever height you want it to be so for me I will be doing 38 from top of the dress at the shoulder part to down into uh, the the knee it will be slightly below the knee and it is 38 uh, inches I think yeah yes 38 inches so let's continue repeating this round these two rounds of the v stitches and of the uh, clusters until you have your desired height
do not forget to subscribe so keep going uh, i will post uh, the end product of my work uh, and how to do the finishing in a very short clip uh, in the next video so for now keep going make it to the length that you like and then when you're done we will uh, don't forget to share the photos down in the comment box below and then you can also share in the social media platforms that i talked to you about when i began making this video so thank you very much uh subscribe if you've not subscribed and uh share to your friends and let us crochet and uh, learn crocheting together thank you